All right, guys, so today we're going to be checking out another band that I have never really gotten around to listening to. Um, I'm sure that I've heard some songs by them at some point, uh, but I've never really like sat down and purposely checked these guys out. Uh, it, the band is called Motionless and White. Um, the only song that I can think of right off the top of my head that I have heard for sure is Another Life. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be checking out their newest song today. It's called Masterpiece. Um, I, I kind of have an idea of what to expect. I, I think these guys are... are in the uh, categorized or whatever as metalcore. I've seen some other descriptions that 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 puts them as gothic metalcore. I don't know. I don't really get into like the genre stuff too much. I, if it's good music, it's good music. I lean towards like metal or whatever, but like the sub genres of metal. I don't I don't really get into that that shit too much. Um, like I said, if it's good, it's good. I'll listen to it. It doesn't really matter like what genre, like what category, what label you, you throw on the band. It doesn't much matter to me. Like I said, I kind of have an idea of what to expect from this song, uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. It's called Masterpiece by Motionless White. So let's go. All the stupid lies and the stupid games left to vacancy in this picture frame a prisoner by my own hands cuz if I All right, I usually don't pause it this this soon into the song, but I I'm, I'm immediately getting Breaking Benjamin vibes. Uh this guy sounds a lot like Benjamin Burnley and Breaking Benjamin I, I I'm, I can I can dig that because uh, Breaking Benjamin is one of my favorite bands of all time. I I love that band. Um, so I'm getting major Breaking Benjamin vibes from this already. So we're we're just gonna start it over, and uh, get into it again. All the stupid lies and the stupid games left to vacancy in this picture frame. A prisoner by my. Huge chorus. Okay, I'm gonna pause it again. I gotta pause it again. Like, okay, ser like, <laughs> seriously, is this guy Benjamin Burnley? <laughs> It sounds it sounds great. It sounds like a break of Benjamin song. That chorus, the big like kind of like halftime feel chorus, but it's like big and epic. He even does. He's even got that like aggressive, like kind of growl at the end of his lines that he's singing, and it's kind of got like that little. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of got that little like shakiness to it um, at the end of the words or whatever when he's singing. Um, just like just like Ben Burnley. Um, I, I would assume that this guy, that this this band, this singer or whatever is at least influenced by Breaking Benjamin. And I'm not calling them like a copycat or anything like that. They, they sound great. This is they're, they're they sound a little bit like heavier than Breaking Benjamin. But like so like Breaking Benjamin, but a little bit heavier. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. We'll get back into the song now. Sounds good. Illustrate all my pain and set it all on Set it all on 
His screams even sound like Ben. That was masterpiece by Motionless in White. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to not continue to compare this band to Breaking Benjamin, but that is the vibe that I got from this song. Uh, like major major Breaking Benjamin vibes, which is awesome. I love Breaking Benjamin, and I've always kind of wondered like what um, what's another band that I could listen to that sounds like Breaking not like exactly like Breaking Benjamin, but but that sounds like them. Like they're, I've always, I mean, say what you want about them, but Breaking Benjamin's always been, I mean, they're just like a rock band, right? They're like a mainstream kind of rock band, but there's always been a, a little something different that sets them apart. And I've always kind of wondered what's another band I can listen to that is similar to them. And I think I found it. This, this, I don't know if it was maybe just this song or what. I doubt it. I doubt it. Cause this guy's voice is way too similar to Ben's. Uh, for it to be like a one song thing. Um, but the choruses, the instruments, the, the, even the screams, the way he emphasizes the words, just like, like Ben does, um, specifically on, what do you say? He said like, uh, canvas, I would paint. He would like paint. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I just, <laughs> that sounded terrible when I did that, but he, it's like, it's really emphasized like paint, like paint. Like it's real, it's hard to explain, but Ben does the same thing. And then he said mistake. He would say like mistake. He's almost turned it into like a three syllable word. Ben does that shit all the time. Um, it's just little like nuances like that, 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 that I kind of picked up on. So these guys, like I said, these guys have to be, have to be influenced by them at least. Uh, anyway, enough breaking Benjamin talk. We're talking about motionless and white. The song sounded great. It's heavy. It's it's big and epic. I love I love those like halftime courses that are just huge and like soaring. That that's like that's the best word I can describe. Like soaring, um, and just like full of like emotion and just I love those kinds of choruses and metal songs. They're awesome. Um, the breakdown was cool. It wasn't like anything crazy technical. It was just a nice little build up, like spoken word build up or whatever. Uh, the screams were nice. I like the scream at the end to like finish the song out. Um, that was really cool. Everything sounds mixed well. The, the guitars are like, I think the guitars are pretty heavy in the mix, but that's fine. I'm a guitarist, so I'm biased to guitars. Uh, loud guitars is fine. The, the vocals are like incredibly clear. You hear everything he's doing and I love it. The harmonies are awesome. The screams are awesome. I think I said that already. Dude's got a very powerful voice, like a very, it, like, and looking at looking at him, I wouldn't picture this is what he sounds like. I, I don't know for some reason, like looking at like with maybe the makeup and the hair and all that stuff. I would imagine like a maybe like a higher voice, like a higher like typical like metalcore voice where you might scream during the verse, but then during the chorus you're singing pretty high. Um, that's kind of what I would imagine, but this dude's got like a real gravelly, low, like really masculine sounding voice and it sounds great with this type of music. So I, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to listening to more Motionless and White. Uh, so if you guys got some other songs by this band that I need to check out, definitely leave, leave them down in the comments for me and I will get around to them. Um, let me know what you thought, you guys thought of Masterpiece down in the comments also, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. I appreciate you watching. Bye.